I mean, I'm gonna keep looking around because I wanna. Okay, uh oh, uh oh, we got something. All right, man, so in this video, we're going to be hitting up Best Buy because I have been seeing where people have been finding some epic new figures at retail at Best Buy. So we're going to be going to Best Buy, seeing if we can find some brand new Ultimate Editions. We're specifically looking for the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns and maybe even the Ultimate Edition Asuka. But today, we're going to venture out, go to Best Buy, and see if they actually do have the figures or not. We only have one Best Buy location, so I really I have no idea if they're going to actually have them or not. But nonetheless, man, let's get in the car and let's shut the hell up and see if we can go to Best Buy and actually cash in on these figures. All right, man, moment of truth. We're about to go in here and find out if this place actually has figures. Now, unfortunately, I only have one Best Buy location, but we're going to go in here anyway and see what they have. This one's been built for about a decade now, I think, or maybe, no, it's over that. It's definitely over a decade, which is crazy because people still refer to this as like a new Best Buy because we haven't had it in a long time, or we, you know, we didn't have it for a long time, and now we have it. Let's shut the hell up and get in the store. All right, man, here we are. I never really shopped for figures in Best Buy before, but oh my God in heaven, are you serious? You've got to be joking me. I've never seen this in person and they have it at freaking Best Buy of all places, man. So I guess the tip is correct. If you go to Best Buy, you can find brand new Ultimates. Now I am also looking for Asuka, but I would take another Roman. I would like to have another Roman, but I don't know where the hell, like dude, the figures are crazy. Like this is, I don't know. I didn't know they had all this stuff here, man. I guess they have Super 7 Turtles and stuff as well. That's crazy. What a absolute W. We're going to keep looking, but I mean, I don't know what the hell else they have. I didn't even know that they carried. I, I think I saw two people say they found Roman Reigns at Best Buy. So apparently if you want this ultimate Roman Reigns, man, go to Best Buy. Apparently that's the move. But I guess I'm going to go over here and look and see what else they have. It looks like they have cards. They have, okay, they have some Elvira's. They got some Gargoyles. So they have a lot of NECA stuff as well, but some Predators. Dude, that's crazy. I had no idea. I don't see any other WWE stuff though, unfortunately. I see a lot of Lego. I see, I don't know what the hell else I'm looking at, but we found Roman Reigns. So that's an absolute massive W right here, but I don't think I see anything else. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else here, but I'm going to keep looking around because I want to... Okay, uh-oh, uh-oh. We got something. We got something. I see an Ultimate Edition. What do we have? It is going to be... Oh, my God in heaven. To what? Okay, so they have our truth and they have Ultimate Edition Oscar. I may actually cop this our truth as well because I love our truth and he's currently on television. And then an Oscar. Holy crap, man. So Best Buy. Best Buy is the move. Best Buy is absolutely the place to go. That is insane. So the haul of the year so far is at Best Buy. And they also have Earthquake or Typhoon. My bad. They have Typhoon. And I want to guess. I bet they have the rest of these in the back. If I had to guess. I don't need any of the other ones, I don't think. But Typhoon's a cool find. First time seeing that set. But these are brand new, man. This is brand new WWE figures. R-Truth, Asuka, and Roman Reigns. That is amazing. Did not expect that, man crazy all right well like I, i'm glad i started filming when i did because i i typically sometimes sometimes i'll forget to pull my phone out man and luckily i actually pulled my phone out in time this time so that's good all right well i don't see anything else uh the roman reigns was over here and i don't know if this is clearance or whatnot i don't see tags but i imagine this isn't gonna be very cheap because best buy i feel like is always kind of you know they're pretty expensive anyway but then you add in the fact that these are brand new i doubt these are on clearance at all i bet they're going to be more i bet the the ultimates are probably going to be like 35 a piece it probably wouldn't shock me if they were 40 but let's see they are well 32 is that cheaper than regular retail i don't even know anyway i'm, de I'm definitely i'm grabbing all this let's let's get it that, that i'm hella excited that's good stuff man all right, man, here we are back home, and they didn't give me a bag. I don't know. Uh, why, why didn't they give me a bag? I don't know. The lady just said, have a good day, and I said, okay, then. So we did walk out. We did get the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns figure. Very excited for this because, you know, I only had one copy of this figure originally. Now, I don't think I'm going to leave it mint on card like the rest of these Ultimates down here. I think I'm going to be opening it up because you can make so many cool Roman Reigns fix-ups, right? 
So I don't know what I'm going to do here. I might get on surgery. I'm really excited because now we have another pair of these red Roman boots. And I don't know exactly, again, what I want to do here. I, I don't know. You know, they didn't give us the faded Roman beard. They didn't get the, you know, we don't, we don't have the accurate Roman beard and whatnot, unfortunately. I think we are going to see that in Elite 110 this year. So that's going to be good. Hopefully we get it in basic form so it'll be easier to to get and things of that nature but we are going to be fixing this guy up in some capacity it's funny i also just showed my wife this figure i don't think she had seen this and she thought that it looked terrible she said that torso looks terrible so i was like oh oh because i personally like this torso a lot for roman reigns but she said that she felt like the top part of the torso like the upper torso part came down too far or something so i was like okay well you know what it's valid you're valid i guess now, we also got an Asuka. Now, when I was on my way to the store and I was prepping, I said, if I find another Asuka, am I going to pick it up? And I decided to pick it up. First of all, I think this is the best women's figure that Mattel's ever made. We, of course, already had this figure right here. We reviewed it earlier this year. However, I had an idea. As you guys know, we just got this AEW Unrivaled Ringside Exclusive Acclaim 3-pack, and we have this Max Caster. How sick would it be to do a gear like this, like silver with iridescent and pink glitter? zebra print if we took this oscar and we painted over the zebra print now i'm gonna be real it'd probably be really damn hard i'm not gonna lie to you it would actually suck probably to paint this but the figure looks so good in general i mean you could do like your own custom face paint and whatnot i don't know man definitely maybe worth looking into but yeah i think the acclaim looks so damn good here and i got my little mini display i did fix up this display a little bit so i got some more stuff going on here but now that we have this oscar and this roman reigns we do have some fix-ups here that we can do on surgery and whatnot. However, also, I think it was in yesterday's video. If you guys missed the toy hunt yesterday, definitely check out the toy hunt yesterday. But I was trying to figure out an Ultimate Edition Cedric Alexander formula. Well, this morning, I legitimately shipped off all the parts. So that's all I'm going to say. Things are cooking. We'll see what comes of that. You guys can see that Kofi was left behind. You watch yesterday's video, and then you watch today's video about the Cedric Alexander. You can kind of put context close together, kind of figure out pro possibly what we're doing, but I don't think you're going to fully put it together, but you may be able to. I don't know. But that's back-to-back -back days of successful toy hunts, and yesterday's toy hunt, I kind of showed this off. I don't think anybody mentioned it, but you guys can see we have... I wanted to showcase this new display, and, and then I wanted to showcase some new pickups before that we get the hell out of here. So over here, we do have the Chase hook. We have the Unmatched Series 7 Chase hook. We have the Shop AEW Exclusive hook. We have the Amazon Exclusive 2-Pack Hookhausen hook in the black. And then up here, we have our other hooks. We have the Ringside Exclusive hook right there in the white and black. And then we have just the regular Unmatched Edition. So we do have every version of hook, which I think was sweet. So I thought that was kind of a cool collection. I should probably put them all next to each other, but I kind of... I have, like, my favorite guys kind of represented right here, unless they have their own shelf. So you have Brody Lee in the suit, which is a beautiful figure. Cassidy, Hook, and then Danhausen, of course, in front of these cards. I think this is the best part of the AEW display, but it is cool. I like this Sting and Hook display right here, even if they don't have anything to, to do with each other. But the other figure pickups we did get is an extra Top Picks Rollins. I want to say this was on sale on Amazon for like $19 or something. So I went ahead and grabbed this Seth Rollins. It's a great base for extra Seth Rollins parts as well. You get double joint arms, the screaming head sculpt, and the Dusty Rhodes gear. And it has white kick pads. So there's a, a, really, a lot of good value here for customs and fix-ups of the future. And I just love Seth Rollins. Then the other day I did go to Dirt Cheap. And this price is not the price they have it at. I think they have like 70% off or 80% off toys. So when you go shopping in there, they'll have the signs up and I found this extra Survivor Series Elite Drew McIntyre which I think looks very sweet again you get better parts you get these black boots that are similar to Cody's boots you have these white knee pads you have this entrance duster you have these double jointed black wrist tape arms and the Finn Balor skin tone so that's an easy fix up right there and it comes with a, a briefcase and some build-a-figure suit legs I mean that's an easy cop right there for eight dollars and then we also found a British Bulldog. Now, one thing that pisses me off about Dirt Cheap, you guys see the price, $22.99. So this one was probably $10 compared to the $8 of the Drew McIntyre. However, this is great parts usage. You have the vest there, and you can use this for future fix-ups as well. So you can never go wrong finding figures for cheap at retail or these like Dirt Cheap style places, Ollie's, things like that. Discount stores, you can really cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase there. So we did grab these figures. And then the last update I have for you is going to be on the arena here. We're cooking up something right here as well. Things should be arriving soon. This is not what it's going to look like. I'm not just going to have a screen like this. This actual, this monitor, I was trying to, I was trying to kind of figure out exactly what it's going to look like. This is not going to work. This is not going to work for what I had planned. So this is going to have to actually be adjusted. So the, the reason I put this up here is just kind of to get a feel for what I wanted to do. And this is not going to work. So this is not what I had planned. I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit. This is just a holding place monitor to kind of see the scale and whatnot that I needed to use. So we are getting rid of this, but that is also going to be fixed. 
here's all the pieces down here that we were working with but i think that pretty much wraps up today's toy hunt style video man i felt like it was worth it you know we went to Best Buy, and we actually cashed in the Money in the Bank briefcase, man. So, hell yeah, that, that works out for me, man. But that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. I appreciate all those fellas over there for all their continued support. Thank you guys so very much for everything you guys do for me on a monthly basis. That is pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a blessed one.